Hi friends, welcome to Manusri's Kitchen. Today we are going to show you how to make curry leaves gravy. In a pan, add some, add one glass of water and one lemon sized tamarind pulp. Just take in tamarind water, add a little bit of turmeric. Mix it. Let it boil till raw smell goes off. Another uh, pan, heat the oil. Add a hing. And add one teaspoon of peppercorn and one teaspoon of jeera. Roast it. Mix. Add a uh, red chilies as per your spice. I am adding 8 and add a 1 tablespoon of urad dal and 1 tablespoon of tur dal which gives nice flavor and it thickens the curry leaves uh, curry grain pot it till it becomes brown golden brown hmm. one teaspoon of raw rice or you can add a rice flour pot it and now we are going to add curry leaves you can add fresh curry leaves. Generally, I used to clean the uh, clean the curry leaves and dry sun dry it, so that we can store it for a long time. Store it for two minutes, then coarse grind it. Sort it for uh, one minute, then blend it with water. In the same pan, add some, add a one teaspoon of oil, add some hing, and make a parka with mustard. And make the seeds. Parka is ready. Add cooked vegetables. Here I have. I am adding cooked radish. I crush up with the radish with, uh, with salt and turmeric and chili, red chili powder. You can add any vegetable as I your taste, like potato. See, I have I have blended the roasted uh, curry leaves, chili powder, chili red chilies, pepper, jeera. Now you can add this mixture on this vegetable. Let it cook for uh, one minute or two minutes. Once it gets thickens, now that uh, now the tamarind water is ready. Now we are going to add this and this gravy. Add salt and adjust the spiciness. See, this is a simple gravy where I am not using onion, ginger, garlic. Just by adding tur dal, the gravy gets thickened and it's easiest to make. You just need curry leaves. Once in a week you can have it because curry leaves is very good for health and it, it's health for anemia from our growth. Now I am going to add this tamarind. juice cook it for some time gravy thickens you can once the gravy consistency thickens you can switch off the turn of the stove and serve it with hot rice chapati see now the 
gravy is ready to eat see the consistency if you are serving for chapati you can make it little more thicker now add some coriander leaves and few spoons of ghee those who can't eat without onion garlic all those masalas can sort while making tadka you can sort uh, onion tomato uh, garlic ginger how you do it for your regular curries now the gravy is ready to serve you can have it with hot rice and pop it makes best combination